Greetings from the Rock International Ministries at Jackson and Sykes, Missouri, where I am the senior pastor. My name is Pastor Thomas D. White, where my wife, Javonda White, is our co-pastor, affectionately called Pastor Z. I want to share a little bit with you today uh, regarding uh, the scripture. And if you'll just turn your Bible with me, if you have a Bible, if you don't follow along with me, I'm going to the book of Mark, Mark 6, 35 through 37, and it reads, while he yet spake, there came a ruler of the synagogue, how certain, which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word, what has spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Verse 37, And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. I want to take that scripture there just for a moment and talk about a thought concerning, concerning an atmosphere changer, concerning the very thought of walking in a circle of people that, that have the uh, same like principles you have, the same faith you have, the ability to think past what they see. In this particular scripture, we were, I just finished reading to you, 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 you we, we saw a scripture here where Jesus was brought to a place where the girl was assumed to be dead. The girl was assumed to be dead. They brought her there, and they brought him there. And some of the people there, the Bible declares, if we read a little further, laughed Jesus to scorn because of what he was saying when he got there. He got there, he declared that the girl's not dead, she's just sleeping. And because of his faith that went beyond their understanding, the Bible declares that many laughed him to scorn. Now I want to help you just for a moment and understand that because people laugh at you, because people see, people think that you don't make any sense, doesn't mean that you're not, not right on with the Bible, right on with, with your faith because, come on, it's the faith of, of God that, um, that many times make us look different and make us uh, appear to be different to the world. Uh, we, we understand that we're not of this world, but we're just passing through this world as Christians in, um, in this earth. And so, yeah, you're going to be looked at in a period as, as different time to time, but understand this, that God's designed it that way. God has said on one hand that we are peculiar creatures. He has created us to be peculiar people. Uh, there's ways that we think, ways that we talk, ways that we understand things that just don't seem to make good sense to the to people in this earth. You know, but let me get back to the scripture here because I want to help you before I'm done here in these couple of minutes that they're giving me here. Um, uh, verse 35 said that the woman, he was approached by a ruler, but the people said, why bother the master any further? She's already dead. Well, verse 36 helps us understand that as soon as Jesus heard this, he was bothered by that. He said, be not afraid, only believe. And so there's something that you've been facing in life, maybe you've been going through circumstances in life where you've been afraid to go forward. You maybe feel uneasy about where you are right now in life. But I want to encourage you today, don't be afraid, only believe. Because your, your faith in God that helps you to move past the things that you don't understand or things that don't make sense in the earth. I want to help you also by understanding this. The Spirit of God resides in you if you are a believer. Come on, being a believer in Christ, you have the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost that lives inside of you, that gives you the innate ability to change the atmosphere wherever you go. It doesn't matter what things look like when you get there, no matter how it sounds when you get there. It don't matter, it don't matter if the situation appears to be dead, but because of the Holy Ghost and the power of God in you, come on, you have the power to change these things that are around you. And it's that ability that you must believe that God is putting you in order to see the things around you prosper when they, when they are dying. Come on, it's God, God gave us, he, Jesus told us on one occasion, he said, he said um, after the miracles he performed here on earth, he said, greater things than this will you do on earth. And so he let us know that we have the same power and the same ability to change things with our, with our speech, to change things with our presence because God is in us. It's not you that's going to change things, but it's the God in you that's going to change things. And so the, the latter part that I finished reading, verse 37 of this scripture, it said that he suffered none to follow him except for, except for um, I mean, Peter, James, John, the brother of James. He only allowed those three to follow him because he understood that everybody couldn't handle what they were seeing. Everybody couldn't handle the faith that he was talking. And because they couldn't handle it, he couldn't allow them to be a part of the, the situation because you, they'll come in with their negative attitudes and their, their negative thoughts, and they will kill the Spirit of God at work. And so you have to make sure you pick your circle of friends properly. You know, I said this many times at The Rock, I tell them wherever I go, I'm an atmosphere change. If I go into a room and I see things not right, or things, not, things don't seem to be quite moved away, I desire to see them to see, I change those things with the power of God that rests in me. And I want to encourage you today to understand you do have that same power that, of God that rests in you if you are a believer of God. And so don't allow the enemy to tell you what you can't do and what cannot happen in your life. Understand that God moves in you the same way God moves in me. And so be encouraged today. Glory to God that um, you've been heard this message today on TCT. Glory to God. And I just believe that God's given you the innate ability to do the same thing that God gives me to do. Be blessed in Jesus' name.